Hello everyone. Uh, I started to open this package from Amazon, and it's something that I don't re I don't remember what this is because I must have ordered it. Excuse me, weeks ago. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of uh, open this up and see what it is, and we can be surprised together. So let's. Uh, I started to do this, and then I, I stopped so I can so I can make this video. So let's uh. Let's do this. So, let's see what this is. Alright. Um, I gotta lift this for a second. Alright, so. I think it's a record. I think I remember what this is. So, let's take a look. Yeah, they usually um, put their records in these. Yeah, this is definitely a record. All right, so let's get the pulley thing here, right here, so you can pull it apart. And oh, oh, okay. Damn, I ordered this when it came out. Great. Okay, finally. Brian found sleepwalkers. Oh, it's a double record. I didn't even know that. Oh, that's cool. Is it double record because there's a lot of songs or because the songs are long? Oh yeah, there's a lot of songs. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that because it's kind of dark. But it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, Hermes sees service. Huh? Uh, no, there's actually not that many songs in here. So I guess they're long or... Um, yeah. Uh, let's open this up. Hold on, I gotta pull this... Looks like this is a little bit here. Okay. There we go. All right, got the plastic off. Me get get open, you son of a. Save the hype sticker. I'll put this over here. All right, is it a gatefold? All right, that's kind of annoying. Maybe you release a double album and not have it be a gatefold. That's a cool picture of Brian on the back, looking uh. Kind of somber there, huh? I already got remarried. So hopefully he's doing better. Oop, my bad. Alright, so yeah, it's not a gatefold, so nothing to see there. But there are two records. Uh, here's side A, B, C, and D. It's a cool label. Nice. Minimalistic label. Ooh, I almost dropped it. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe um, I don't know if you can see the grooves, but there's a lot of space between them. So they're either really long songs or they uh, put a lot of space between the grooves. So it would sound better, I guess. Who knows? All right, I'm gonna play it. I'm not gonna play the whole thing, but let's walk over to my my record player here and play it. Okay. Turn this on. Let's put this switch and I'm right handed. I just remembered that. Okay. And I should probably clean it first, but I don't really give a shit. It's not that big a deal. And play. And let's hear the first song sounds. Cause I this album came out a couple weeks ago, but I hadn't listened to it yet because I wanted to wait for the record, which took pretty much all of February for it to arrive. So it's gonna start to play. All right, all right. Well, here's my surprise unboxing of Sleepwalkers by Brian Fallon. So again, double record. Thanks for watching. All right, so I started to play this record and it turns out I didn't read this and this would explain why um, why it's across two records. This LP is actually supposed to be played at 45 RPM. Now I started to play it and it sounded really slow, obviously, because I was playing as a 33. But um, yeah, that's why it's across two records because it's 45. Um, I don't know why they would do that. 
uh, if someone can explain to me why it would be better to have an LP play at 45, uh, please let me know. Um, but yeah, that's why it's on two records. So yeah, thought I'd stick that in at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.